Greetings to all Southern Cameroonians on Ground Zero and across the world. This is King H. I'm making a video in response to Mr. Tapang Ivo Tanku of ADF Egg of Sea. Mr. Tapang Ivo Tanku did a live video about um, sending a message to Comrade Tato and Mark or to Eric Tato and Mark Barretta in precise. And I want to do my own little part as a Southern Cameroonian, as a citizen of Ambazonia. Because this revolution concerns all Southern Cameroonians. And Every Southern community, every Ambazonian has the right to express their opinions about what they think about the Ego of C or Cho Ayaba, uh, Dr. Cho Ayaba and the Ego of C slash ADF or um, Sisiko Ayoktabe Julius and um, Samo Sako. I, I will say something. From the beginning of this revolution, I didn't like the fact that Sisiko Ayotabajidis did not include creating a military or having arms in a revolution because a revolution requires defense. It requires military defense. And I was against that. And I did my own part in speaking against that. And you are right in that perspective, Mr. Tapang Ivo Tanku. And you are also right that it was Cho Ayaba who brought the military on ground zero. He was the one who took the initiative to bring a military on ground zero. And that I gave him a plus. But the fact that this revolution is at this stage with so much confusion and infighting is because of lack of true leadership within all the groups of Southern Cameroon who are fighting for independence. Now, you can claim that... Um, Samu Sako is a traitor, an inside spy that was put to, to you know, to distract our cause and to make sure that our cause is not successful. That may be because of the fact that he has squandered all the money that was raised for my trip to Boya for the purpose of self-defense and contribution to our suffering people. But um, attacking or saying stuff about Eric Tato and Mark Beretta about the fact that they don't want to be part of the ADF or A Egg of C, you know, it's just ridiculous. The leadership of Egg of C and the leadership of ADF under Choyaba and the rest of those who are part of the Egg of C haven't done anything tremendous to the contribution of the Ambazonian Revolution because we haven't won this war. We are still fighting this war. So you can't say that another group of people cannot create another pathway that could lead to the contribution of the growth of the revolution of in southern Cameroon. You can't say that they must be part of a structure. Sisuko Ayotabajus is in jail. Yes, we have um, the VP and work, who is working with you the egg of C slash ADF. But the forces of 
ADF might be the strongest forces in southern Cameroon, or it is the strongest forces in southern Cameroon, but that force is still not strong enough to do an impact in La Republic de Cameroon, which is why after three years or four years counting, we haven't been able to successfully free one or two or three counties. We have 14 counties in southern Cameroon, and in the fighting for three years, we were not able or were not capable of freeing just one county. So if you can't free even one county with the forces of ADF, the, 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 the proud and um, powerful force of ADF cannot free just one or two counties. Then my question is how are they going to free 14 counties? Because many people speak so highly of the ADF, but there's so much controversy, controversy in the ADF forces. There's so, so many controversies in the ADF forces, which has given room for people not to trust the ADF or to trust the AGFC. And I believe, I can't speak for Matt Berta or Tato, but I believe... This is the reason why they might be distancing, distancing themselves from the egg of sea and um, the ADF forces. So, we haven't won this revolution. We haven't won this war. We're still in battle. Any person has the right to create a way forward, a pathway forward to making sure that this revolution is successful. Being it the TT and C, whatever you guys call it, the A of C, and or being um, dark, or any other group that wants to come forward. Because no one has monopoly over what is happening inside Southern Cameroon because no one is strong enough or powerful enough to control the circumstances that is happening within Southern Cameroon. But true leadership would be to make sure that all the groups that have been created or formed should understand that they are fighting for one purpose and be able to compromise in working to work together so that Southern Cameroon can be liberated. Our goal right now as Southern Cameroonians who are fighting for this revolution is to liberate Southern Cameroon from La Republic de Cameroon. So any person or any group has the right to create a pathway being it dark, being it egg of sea, being in whatever group. But the egg of sea and the ADF group or whatever you want to call it or a government or whatever it is seem to believe that they have autonomy over everything else. That I disagree because in order to even have such autonomy, you should be able to win this revolution. Without which, if you have it, so long as this revolution is still going forward and our people are dying day in, day out, anyone has the right inside Southern Cameroon or outside Southern Cameroon to work with a group or any groups to making sure that Southern Cameroon is liberated. Now, I've noticed that your CIC, as you guys proudly call it, I don't, I don't give a damn who the fuck is the president or the active commander-in-chief or whatever. I don't give a damn about all that. Shit, which is why I'm not in any group whatsoever. I'm an individual. 
speaking as a southern Cameroon and not only as a southern Cameroon as an African who believes in pan-Africanism a unification of African people with, with what is happening in China look at what is happening in China look at how African people have been treated in China and across the globe you know but that's a topic for another day let me just you know Stick with what I'm saying right now, which is about Southern Cameroon and the little politics, which, you know, in a way, I could see why Tapang Ivo is spending so much time to bring Mark Barretta and Eric Tato to Agosti because they are powerful forces that can actually change the outcome of this revolution. And that is the truth. El Tato is a leader. Mark Barretta is a leader. And combine both of those people together with dog and with the people, including I, supporting the dog. They can do great things that will change this revolution. They do not necessarily have to be under any other group. They don't have to be under uh, AGOF. See, they don't have to be under Sarko's uh, interim government. They don't have to be under uh, Sisiko's interim government. It could be another new group because this revolution has not been won. We are still in phase one trying to win this revolution. If Dr. Ayabacho had all the strategies, all the strategies, or all the, as you put it, um, propaganda to win this revolution because you are the king of propaganda. Propaganda for how many years? Still, people are dying. Guns for how long? Yet, still, people are dying. Our southern Cameroon citizens are being killed. So, AGOC has no monopoly in controlling people within the southern Cameroon. The real government the real government will be created after the revolution is won. I've always said that. This is the we're fighting a liberation course. And we want to win this course. We want to win this revolution. So in order to create a government, we must defeat our enemy. And our enemy is La Republique du Cameroon. It's francophones is french cameroonians is the government of french cameroon it doesn't matter how you see it or say it it's just absolute truth the enemy is la republic and la republic include what the people in la republic it includes the government in la republic that is our enemy and that's what we need to focus on everybody needs to do their own path in contributing to the growth and success of this revolution, of the revolution of Southern Cameroon and Bazonia. They don't, Eric Tato and Mark Breda don't have to join AGOFC to make sure that life, to make sure that Southern Cameroon will be successful, no. But you guys want them to join because you see how powerful and impactful they can be. And that is not the way to go by, to ask somebody to become part of you. It's not that, for real, um, Tapang Ivo Tanko, it's not the way to go by. But as I said, more work needs to be done for Southern Cameroon to regain their independence and in order for this work to be done, the structures and the structures, the structures that have been created and the structures that are being created must understand that we are all fighting for the same cause. And we are all contributing to the growth of this revolution of Southern Cameroon and Amazonia.
You don't have to be under a of C. You don't have to be any. You don't have to be in any other group. So long as you got your team, Eric Tato has his team. I'm quite sure. After being under uh, Sam Osako, he has understood that in order to push this thing forward. He may have to lead. And there's nothing wrong in that. There's nothing wrong in him being a leader of this revolution. Or at least one of the leaders of this revolution. There's nothing wrong in that. He doesn't have to be under um, Cho Ayaba. He doesn't. Mac Barretta doesn't have to. If they want to, that's fine. If he doesn't want to, that's also fine. So I don't see why your your callers are calling calling you and threatening that oh um, we don't want our people dying. They are trying to create a mess by creating this dark. This is not the first time Eric Tata has been talking about dark or launching about dark or everything about it. He's been talking about it for months, if not even up to a year now. He's been talking about it. So the fact that you brought your TT, whatever, doesn't mean that he has to be part of you. And you made it crystal clear on that video, on that live video, that since Eric Tato cannot be part of AGLC, then you, you, you can be part of DOC. Un understand, simple as that. You are part of AGLC slash ADF. And he's part of his own thing that he has created. Why can't you respect that and work together? This is King Angel. Till next time.